Tony's mod time. It's mod time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. Mod time! Start off with Beware of Straw gets updated. Fixed a lure error while collecting vines and grapes. Okay. So that was a thing for straw, but there you go. I think Lizard 600 added more Tyrkin pigs. Updated the mod description. Updated and fixed sounds. And added a map hotspot. European countryside. The map got updated. Changed some AI traffic routes. Caused a lot of accidents. Vehicle shop purchase icon moved to the shop. Increased BGA land value. Okay. Some trees that were floating in the forest have been fixed. Always good. Green mill icon that was below ground has been fixed. Does not say if it needs a new save. But if you have European countryside and you want those floating trees, green mill icons, and other sundries fixed, so you download that map. Up next, we got the new mods for today start with the bunker silo hud it's a it's a bunker silo hud it shows when you enter bunker silo the fill type fill level compacted or fermenting so this is if you have the f1 disabled and you just want to hud up there so you don't have to like walk into it and it pops up that says the same information but you know you don't have to have that f1 menu up in the top left hand corner so this is a nice little discrete hud for that all of these are going to be um, all platforms unless I specifically say. This is PC only, but unless I say PC only, just consider it all platforms. Safety weights pack. You have 500 kilos for 550 bucks or 2,000 kilos for 1550. It's a good price. They're obviously branded there. You got the New Highlands and the John Deere's. Those are pretty cool. You got the Magsy Hydraulic Telescopic Fork. Telescopic fork offset to mover load pallets. Two grand. Don't use auto load. Might be a good option for you. Get the buyer sell front hopper, labe rotile. This is PC only as well. This is under cultivators. Goes from 10,000 to 26,000. This is a front hopper to work the soil and put the front hopper. So obviously there's a language translation in there max work speed is 10 kilometers per hour 180 horsepower and 4.5 meters hopper it's the cultivator all the good stuff got that kill mac equalizer i probably said that wrong ideal pre-tiller so you got a pre-tiller to make seed bed preparation three or four meter width starts at 79.95 plus or minus 70 horsepower and you got the three and the four meter whiz. This is PC only. You have the Gutner Simplex 2530. Front packer, it's a roller. 2.5 meters for 1800 bucks, front attachment. And the 30 is a three meter, 2100, 3400 with a front attachment, extra equipment with a front tool. You got a couple rollers. Next, we have the layer. This is PC only as well. I'm guessing because of the branding. Any type of bulk material feed starts at 25 grand. Goes from 15,150 liters to 24,000 liters. Zipper looks pretty neat. Different sizes. Next, we have the Berthoud Vantage. Vantage, come on. I said it fancy. 4,300 precision. It is the sprayer. It is compatible with the spot treatment of the herbicide for precision farming. Yep, color choices, beacon lights, and blue lights on the sprayer. So, fancy lights, precision farming, they're birth food. Got a New Holland 8340, 79 grand, 125 horsepower. Color configs, exhaust configurable, tire configs, and all doors and windows are animated. We have a Massey Ferguson 8S. A lot of different configurations on the engine. This goes from 205 up to 305. You got all kinds of colors, designs, animated doors and sunroof, animations on the interior, warning signs, 
All good stuff. All nice little touches. That is a nice little tractor. Especially going up to 305 horsepower, excuse me. Pretty, pretty cool tractor. Got the case W20E. The wheel loader. You got tires, glasses, which I'm guessing is tint, gyroflex, various designs, colors, 65 grand for 150 horsepower. Got all kinds of attachments, loaders, round balers. There is a winch on here. Gonna have to get in game and test that winch out at some point. But it is a case wheel loader. It is not a bad price. Tire Farm, we are gonna look at these both of these maps, but let's take a quick look first. This is all platform map. Beautiful rolling hills of the Cotswolds. Mixed arable and silage contractor. 58 fields. UK based geo, which is pretty nice. Industrial estate. Multi production cell points for your harvest. Forestry land. UK license plates. Thanks to Oxygen David. Everything can be sold individually. The hedges, sheds, trees, and other placed objects. You can freely build your own farm. Amazing. Awesome. All the correlatives I can say on that. Awesome. 100 collectibles to find. Like I said, we will fly over this. Matapiba, now this is PC only. There is no description. We got three pictures, but we have no description. It is PC only. We're gonna fly around this as well, but we'll see what it does. We got DFM tools. Forestry stuff, you got, you know, cut down the trees. 12 grand, 60 horsepower, 10,500 for 60 horsepower, and 5,500 for the small, 45 horsepower. You got a bunch of different ways to cut down trees. And lastly, we have the Alpago Jet Mpack. This a cedar. It's 15 grand for the RK, RK300, 90 horsepower, 3 meters. The Jet M is 22,000 in combination. So you got the front and back. These work together, work them separately. 125 horsepower for the Jet M, 1,000 liters on, on the Cedar, and 3 meters. So run them together. Now we're going to go take a look at the two maps. Let's jump over there and check them out. And here we have the Shire. You can see there are a lot of grass fields on there. Here's your PDA, standard crops, everything normal there. See what field or fields we own. We own 136 and 35 here in the middle. Here's our farm area. We also own all the town areas. And you'll see how that comes into play. Here's all our cell points. We also have you know, sheep barns over here. We have factories. So we have pig styes up there. Biogas plant there. But in our own farm, we have cow barn with the feeding robot. Have chickens down there. What that does is owning those lands. Go back to that. See, we own all those animal pens already. But we own all these productions. The stone crusher, the spinnery, carpentry. Two biogas plants, the dairy, and the grain mill. Steel factory and carpentry. So you own all the productions to start off with. Whether that's good for you or not, uh, I usually prefer to buy them myself, but it is a way to go. See here, there are other places to sell uh, than just the factories. So you're not going to get stuck with that little bugaboo. See here, a custom geo. A little bit different. Still only one planting, one harvest per year. It's UK. I'm not familiar with UK seasons, so there's that. And you see everything we own here. Let's get in there. Let's jump up in the air. See what we got. This is our starting air. Nice little playground. We got a lot of sheds. Here. There's your lime crusher. Already on your farm cow barn Got a bunch of sheds here bunch of sheds a lot of places to put stuff silos diesel tanks bunkers 
Everything you could need. Take a look at what we get to start off with. And you see here, it's everything. I mean, four tractors. Good class try and 750 harvester. Big forge harvester. Big M450. You know, wheel loader, telehandler. Two trailers. All the headers you need. Forge wagon, slurry tanks, bailers. I mean, obviously, we got a lot of class on here. You own. I mean, you have all the equipment you need to start, and then some. Anything you want to do on here, you can. We're going to fly around this map. I'm going to speed up a little bit more. I'm going to hide that. You can see a lot of grass field. You own two biogases. I think this is going to be an animal and silage heavy map. But everything in here looks pretty neat. Pathways to get in and out of everything. Again, it's a typical British map. You see the entrances there. Always hard to get into. You're going to need a head of trailer. Some undulations into the uh, into the fields. Not exactly flat. Got a few areas of trees. Not much. Not going to be a logging map. Forest area over there. We'll swing by that. Already laid out for you. Little bits of town. Factories. Got some decent sized fields. Nothing too small. Again, more still points over there in factories. Little sheds dotting around here. Help you out. We want to go back to the main farm. Another area for you to set up to if you wanted. Now, we do own this area. So, start here and work your way down. If we can sell some of these areas. Can't sell it. You got objects on it. So, you're stuck with that farm. Not a big deal. Let's see some land prices while we're here. 150 grand for that. 177. Our big boys are down here. 126. So nothing too expensive. That big chunk is half a million, but you know you get two fields. That's 296. You get those two fields. These prices are very reasonable. 48, 337, and you get 47. So a lot of land, cheap prices. Now we want to test. One more thing, it said, sell some things, placed objects, so you can sell your placed objects, that got rid of some, some garbage, Don't know. It says everything can be sold individually. That the sheds, the hedges, and the trees. I'm not seeing where I can sell these. Can't demolish them. Oh, there we go. Hedges and trees for 500. Let's try it. All right. Now, did that get rid of everything on the map? Fly up and see. It looks to me like all every hedges are gone. So they're not individual, it's the whole map. The hedges and trees are gone. I don't know. I would have separated the hedges and the trees. 
from each other. Got rid of the hedges, but right now you have all the hedges, all the trees gone. It is a flat map. A little barren now if you do all that. But, choice. Tell me what you think. Put that in the comments. You like that selling the hedges and the and the trees all at once? That is Shire Farms. Next we have Matopiba. Like a South American map. Not sure which country. There was a flag on the beginning. I missed it. Check it out. Here's your map. It's a big map. Obviously that stuff on the outside, but it is a big map. There's some big fields. This is where you start. You start off with field three. Well, it's not actually a field. It's a field, but not a field. We'll show you that. You got all these fields down here. Let's look at prices. They are expensive. 3.1 million, but they are big. 23, 3.17, 2.1. Smaller ones, 200 grand. So these are not bad, 200 grand. 1.3 for that. So there are some smaller areas, bigger areas. Check contracts. Field 29 is 15 acres. Back and see 29. So these are 15 acres, so that is considerably more than 15 acres. I'm guessing field 22 is going to be close to 150, 200 acres. That's the only contract we have right now. No animals to own. No productions we own. A couple of different sub points. There are descriptions on the actual mod page, and not the latest page. But it basically just lists sub points. As you see here, we got the geo. Bunch of areas up here. Timber. Lime crusher, that's kind of neat. We'll go look at that. Got bales, agro industrial, bill, gas station, markets, different sell points, animal dealers, vehicle shop. This is where you start. You can see a couple of sheds. You have this field right here. Just cotton. It's growing. And then here's your field three. You can see it's a field, not really a field. So it's grass. But it doesn't show up as a field. Very confused. But you can mow it. And it's big. Or plow it in, make it what you want. Get our bearings here. Yeah, and you got big field three. Field two stretches all the way over there. Up a little bit. You can see the typical dirt. These South American maps. You got roads. Some roads. Nice mountainous area here. This looks like that view. That's kind of neat. The river. Kind of stunning. A lot of twists and turns. You can see you got an actual sub point there, so you're going to be driving along this, this road, taking these switchbacks down. It's kind of a theme of this map, but it is beautiful. And up here, you got terraced area, so there's quite a bit of height variation in the. And here's your town. Sub points, Pioneer. Beautiful waterfall. I mean, just the look of it is pretty stunning. You can see the cars going around all the weird switchbacks. A lot of areas to get lost in. I don't even know where we are. All right, that's the edge of the map. But this road goes along the edge. Speed up a little bit more. See here, and we got more areas. Sell points, sugar beet. Interesting looking buildings. Fair fields here, good for the workers. 
But yeah, these are large. This is a big map. Giving you the freedom to put down what you want, which I like. Or sub points. The road system on this is going to be interesting. Getting around. Okay, you got a couple bunkers in there. Here it says you have a challenge getting to the quarry area. That's where we're headed now. And you see here, that off. I'm guessing the challenge is getting around and down to the bottom without tipping over. I could not find a different challenge. I couldn't find any icons or anything else. But sell stones, buy lime. Kind of a neat addition. I love it when they put a little quarry in there. It's kind of a nice touch. Realism is key, I've been told. You got a bunch of water here. Apparently there's areas here you can pick up water based off there's some icons. But more areas here. What we got over there. Agro-industrial and your bales. Houses there? Here's your agro-industrial. Very well set up. Everything looks amazing. It's a big, wide open map. Big, huge fields. A different look to it. Let's see what we got to start with. Not as much as the last map, but you got a Massey. Good class. Bad size harvester there. Trailer header. Good planter. So, there you go. Big fields, wide open. Get your mods in there. This is, again, PC only. So get your mods in there to big equipment. Get your sheds. Build yourself your own farm. Because... You're going to need it with this big field, and you're going to need it not much here. That is a pretty interesting map. That's a good multiplayer map here. Check it out. But for today, that is all the mods we have. If you like these videos, hit that like, smash that subscribe button. Until next time. Tony's my time. It's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time!